Right, we're here. QSC stand. This is a one of those products at the show which everyone goes, wow, really great. So uh, we've come along to get a video demo of this with Chris, who's basically the expert. Um, the product price is yet to be decided, but there's two there's two formats. There's uh, an 8-channel, is that right? There's an, uh, it's actually, a the TouchMix 8 is a 12-channel, the TouchMix yeah. 16 is a 20-channel. Okay, well the, the 12-channel, we're thinking it's going to be about 900 pounds tops. But for the product you're about to see, I think it's really, really great. And it's one of the best products of the show. So, uh, can you just take us through in about sort of five minutes, Chris, of the basic overview of what it is, yeah? Absolutely, and there's, there's really three kind of major points that we're gonna focus on here, is that we've designed this product to give you big mixer features, all the power and capability of a large concert console, but in a compact, affordable, and easy to use package that can uh, really appease the most seasoned professionals or the less experienced user. So in here, we've given you, across all channels, a complete dynamic section. You have EQ, gate, and compressor with no compromises. You can use those in any combination without any fear of taking away from another part of the mixer. In addition to that, you have uh, a total of 10 auxiliary outputs on the 16. You have four on the TouchMix 8 um, with the ability to also drive in-ear headphones directly from the console. Um, some of the large format uh, feature uh, functions that we've given you are eight DCA groups and eight mute groups. Um, and all the features that are in those are uh, programmable from basically one or two button pushes. The whole yeah. concept of the, of the mixer is simplicity for everybody yeah. um, and the ability to get deeper with it if you like. Uh, we've included four effects master channels that don't take away from your auxiliary section, uh, which is really nice because now you have uh, full studio quality um, uh, models of effects processors that everybody is familiar with built into the unit with effects sense from every channel. Once again, there's no compromises on that part of the, of the mixer at all. Uh, it, as well, we include a Wi-Fi dongle so you can control the, uh, uh, the mixer with up to 12 iPads yeah. uh, on stage so everybody can have their own monitor mix or you can have an array and control every single one of the screens that you have from the, from the front panel. Yeah. Um, in addition, there's a second USB port that allows you to do 20-channel multi-track recording uh, in real time with an external hard drive, no computer required. Right. Okay, and, that, and when that's actually recorded, you can obviously just you go back and remix it and get it off of the hard drive, yeah? Yeah, you can use it. You can pull it off the hard drive and put yeah. it in your DAW. You yeah. can remix it through the unit. You can use it as a virtual sound yeah. check. I mean, it's pretty light. This is how big the actual um, the, uh, the 8 is, and it's pretty light, as you can see on the top there. We'll probably get a shot of the screen here so we can see it from there. And there's the back panel there with all the outputs, so from there. But it's pretty pretty compact and pretty powerful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And the feature set between the 8 and the 16 is exactly the same. Yeah. You just have fewer I.O. on the 8. Right. OK, fantastic. OK. Um, just we just get a shot of the screen over here, I think, just so we can get sort of some idea of what the interface looks like. And, and, and Chris, just show us you know, how easy it is to get around absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah? You can actually do, because it is a touch mix, it is a touch screen control. Uh, the way that I like to do it is actually use a uh, two-hand function, because you do have control with the knob to the, the right-hand side. And that actually is really nice when you get into the unit and you want to control things like knobs, because uh, you can turn that, push in for fine control. You have really detailed control, either by the touch mm. screen or with the, uh, with the control knob. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay. And um, in the sense of basically switching between the different uh, screens pretty quick, yeah, it's got you. Absolutely. You yeah. Can, you can see when you get uh, the first eight inputs, the second eight inputs, you can yeah. get to your auxiliaries, your DCAs. Yeah. It's very responsive. It's yeah, very, very responsive on the thing there. Very, very, uh, the slightest touch allows brings it up straight away, so it's really good there. And the faders, once again, that's, that's easy. Nice backlit display as well, so it's easy to see in the dark. So from there. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, I mean, where do you see this sort of being used? I mean, it's fairly obvious, but where, where, just well, tell us. Really, it's for musicians, it's for uh, production professionals, it's for live music venues that yeah. need that power and capability in something much smaller or more portable. That's right. And literally, with any, any, it's, literally it's, it's not linked to any other thing that QSE do. You can use it as a standalone unit with any other speaker system, yeah? Yeah, it's a standalone mixer. Yeah, it's very good. Um, very, very good product. Uh, you'd probably have to get look on the website and see a bit more in depth than this because it's got a lot of products. Uh, when's it going to be shipping, so, do you think? Uh, middle 2014. Middle 2014. So it's going to be a while before it comes into the shop, but obviously Anders will be stocking it because it'll be a, this will be a great product. So yeah, thank you very much indeed, Chris. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Thank